Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In our previous video, we started discussing Comcell user groups, and we stopped at Associated Entities tab. In this video, we will continue discussing other tabs. Please like, share, comment, or suggest. Subscribe for more videos. And you can follow us on Instagram. Let's recap this window. Entity type displays the selected entity, for example, client computer group, library, storage policy, etc. In our case, we selected all entities, so shown as Comcell. Name displays the names of the entities that are associated with this user group, for example, group name, selected library name storage policy name etc. Role displays the names of the roles that are associated with this user group. Defined in lists the Comcell entity where the security association is defined. Use the edit option to change an existing association or remove option to delete an existing association. Search tab Use this window to specify the Comcell users and user groups whose data can be searched. Please note, this tab is available when a role with the compliance search permission is added to the user group. Users whose data can be searched. Enter the Active Directory or Domino Directory usernames whose data can be searched. The format to add user is domain slash username user groups whose data can be searched enter the active directory or domino directory groups whose data can be searched additional settings tab use this window to set additional settings in other words registry keys additional settings are advanced options that can be used to perform troubleshooting and other environment specific configurations. Once done, click OK to create the user group. We received error. The name of you all is not allowed user group name. As mentioned before, the user group should have automatically created when the software is installed. We cannot create it now. If you have similar issue then you need to open a ticket with vendor convolt to get needed support, and get the group enabled for use. Let's create a new group for database admin, where they can see and work, only on their relevant managed servers, and not more. Right click on Comcell user group. Select new user group. Name, is the name of the user group. We are trying to create database admin user group. In the description, type some descriptive information about the user group, for example, a general description about the user group. We have already discussed these options. Members tab. Let's assign a user to this group. Select a user from available members, and move to associated members. Associated entities. We have already discussed what it means. Let's go ahead and add the entities. Add association window. We want the DB admin to only access their servers added to this client computer group. If a server is not part of this group, then they can't see it. It is admin's responsibility, or whoever owns the responsibility to ensure the DB servers are added to this client computer group, once they are added to the Comcell. We will assign the database admin's role, which we created in our previous video. Once done click OK. Just to recap what we see here. Entity type, displays the selected entity, for example, client computer group, library storage policy etc. Name displays the names of the entities that are associated with this user group, 
for example, group name, selected library name, storage policy name etc. Role displays the names of the roles that are associated with this user group. Defined in lists the object or the comcell entity where the security association is defined. We leave rest of the options default. Once done, click OK to create the user group. Database admin group got created successfully. Let us now review the shortcut options. Right click on the user group. Delete is used to delete the user group. On the confirm delete window, to confirm the deletion, click yes. The next shortcut option to discuss is, send message. You can send instant messages to any user, who has logged on to the ComServe using the ComCell console. The ComCell console offers an instant messaging feature, to communicate with the users connected to the ComServe, using the ComCell console. This feature is useful, when you want to notify the users about operations, for example, restarting the services on the ComServe, or installing updates on the clients. As this is GUI feature, it is not available using the command line interface. We received error stating, there are no users in this user group, but we are certain, that we added the user, while creating this user group. The reason you see this error is because, the GUI is not refreshed with the updated information in the ComServe database. Refresh the screen. We now see the user listed. Let's try the option again. We see the message, conversation started for the database admin group. The messages you send are sent, to all the users who are part of this group. As you notice, the user Emma is offline. Hence the message is not delivered to her. The next option is security. From here you can edit the security for database admin group. Click add, to add users and groups, and define role. Include inherited associations. Lists all of the inherited security associations, that affect the group. Once done, click OK. The last option is Properties, which is used to edit the user group. The user group properties windows, allows you to edit associations to roles and entities, and add or delete members. Now that we created user group with certain entities, and restricted roles, let's see how it appears to the actual user, when he or she log in. Before we log in, let's review what the user is entitled to see. The client computer group consists of one server. Total client computers in the ComCell are two. We have seen people questioning, how can users belonging to different user groups, be restricted from viewing all ComCell objects. To answer this, if a user is not part of the view all user group, then that user will not see ComCell objects for which the user's member user groups does not have associations. Furthermore, users will not be able to view the job controller, or event viewer details, associated with the ComCell objects, for which they do not have permissions. Please note, a user will not be able to view these ComCell objects, upon logging onto the ComCell console, after the restrictions have been set. Let's log in as DB Admin user. Launch new ComCell console. Log in with the DB Admin user credentials. Under Client Computer Groups, the user can see only one user group, which has only one server. Under Client Computers as well, the user can see one server, which is part of the Client Computer Group. The user can see the storage policies. Let's edit and check, if the user can make changes to the storage policies. 
we received error stating that the user does not have added permissions for storage policies. We will end this video here. In our next video, we will discuss domains and organizations. Please, hit the like button, if you like this video, and subscribe to our channel, if not already done so. Thank you. Do subscribe for more videos.